Well, the test we have right now is a qualitative uh, real-time uh, PCR test. It's a polymerized chain reaction. It's, it detects the gene of the, of, the, of the virus. When the doctors order the test, they might see rapid in there. They might think that it's uh, one of those AIA-based uh, uh, rapid screening tests. It's not. It's a PCR test. Based on a study, it's uh, over 95% accurate. Roche? Uh, the analyzer that Quest is using and Cepheid, the analyzer that we're using, are two of the top most accurate testing platforms available. It just received FDA approval about four weeks ago. Once we receive the specimen, it takes like maybe less than five minutes prep time and then it's loaded into the machine. It takes like less than an hour we have the results. Unfortunately, we can't test everybody because of the bottleneck in the testing system. Uh, we are either limited by the collection kits or the testing kits. Um, if either one of those is in short supply, our testing comes to a standstill. And so we're reserving our testing in-house for most critical patients. We are referring out COVID tests for um, outpatients. They're being quarantined, they're at home, they're shelter in place. So um, it's not as critical for them to have that result back within the hour. Before, when uh, we were just sending it out to Quest, it takes like seven days, of, uh, an average of seven days before we get the results. So, so uh, with, with uh, us now doing the test in-house, it's really a game changer. So one of the best parts about um, doing our testing on the Cepheid is that those analyzers were donated by the men's club. And we were um, very grateful to have that donation because we've been doing our flu testing on that. And i um, very fortunate that now that the COVID testing we're, that we're doing was able to be implemented um, much sooner rather than later because we already had the equipment in place. Yes, there is the message coming out from a lot of different organizations that we should be testing more and more and while we agree with that message uh, definitely 100% that more testing needs to be done until the resources um, open up we are still limited by our capability of collection kits versus testing kits.